Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun full face get ready with me video for you guys today and it's on this look that I'm wearing right now. So it's a really smoky green look and then kind of like a warm terracotta sort of a lip combination. So I really like how it came out. I'm going to be using some goodies from Camp Cosmetics and just getting ready with you guys on camera. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I have already applied some moisturizer. So now I'm going to use my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And I like to concentrate this kind of um, in my T-zone because that's where I have more pores that show. That's where my makeup breaks down. So I just find that this, you know, helps with the longevity, but also the pores and redness too because I get a little bit red around my nose. And then for foundation today, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I have the big giant one from QVC and I wear it in light and I'm gonna apply it with my Sigma Angle Top Kabuki F84 that is already dirty. I need to wash it. Now you guys don't normally see this because I usually have my brows done already when I do tutorials, but I like to put on my um, eye primer first and then do my brows. So, and it kind of like lets it set or whatever. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Primer Potion today for my primer. And now I'm gonna fill in my brows with my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde and my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in taupe and the brush I'm using is from Bodyography Pro but um, Beauty Junkies has one like this too which I really like but I don't know what I did with that brush I put it somewhere and I can't find it now but anyway this is the combo I'm using And now I'm going to take some Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top half of my lids just to cancel out any kind of discoloration or veining. And then for my eyelids, I want to do a green smoky eye, so I want to use a green base. So this is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick in Gossip Green. And I'm just going to apply that to my lids and blend that up, um, not past my crease. So just right into my crease. Now I'm going to take my Camp Cosmetics eyeshadow. So first I'm going to get some of Voila on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And I'm going to apply this into my crease and transition area. And just do a lot of blending. And then for my brow bone, I'm going to take a little combination of Virgin, this white color and my face powder to kind of create like a light creamy shade and apply that on the brow bone. And then you can go back in with your blending shade and your brush and just do a little bit more blending and softening of those lines. And after the lid, I'm gonna take this really pretty green called Banshee on an e.l.f. blending eye brush and just apply this to my lid and blend it up into that crease color that we applied. This is a really pretty green and has just a really nice texture so it blends really nicely. So this is definitely one of my favorite shades from them. And you can see there's kind of already some natural shadowing that's happening in my outer corner, but I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to get some of Conviction on an e.l.f. eye crease brush. And I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer corner, just the tiniest little bit of this to give just a little bit more dimension there. And then I'm going to go back over that with some green because I want this to be a green smoky eye. I just want it to have some dimension to it. 
Now I'm gonna take this Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Moss and apply this to my lower lash line and into my waterline. And then I'm gonna go over that with some Banshee on a Sedona Lace EB21 brush. Now for my upper lash line, I wanna keep it pretty smudgy, so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner and I'm going to tight line and then kind of smudge a little bit of that on my upper lash line using this Studio Gear number 37 brush. Any kind of an angle brush will work. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm going to be using my Buxom, it just says Lash Mascara. So Lash Mascara in Black is Black. Now moving on to concealer. So I'm going to use these two, my Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer in Ivory and my Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in light. I'm gonna apply both of those with my Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer. And then I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and just apply that with my fingers. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC on my nose. My nose is looking a little bit red today, so this will help with that. Now I'm gonna set my T-zone with my NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation in Mont Blanc, which is light too and I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I love both of these, it's amazing. $3 brush, and I don't even know how much this is, but I love it. And I love them equally. They're both awesome products. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Light 15 and my e.l.f. complexion brush. And I'm gonna go back in and soften any lines on my eyes, because sometimes when you're applying your concealer, you, you know, kind of mess up the lines of your eyeshadow. So you need to go back in and kind of do a little bit of fixing. So I'm gonna do a little bit of fixing. I'm gonna go in and apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes as well. Now I'm gonna take some of Mahogany on a Delium Tools 945 brush and I'm gonna do some contouring and also just kind of warming up of my face. And I'm gonna use my Delium Tools 992 for my neck. And I think Mahogany definitely works as kind of like a blush bronzer combo because it's sort of like a, like a pinky matte bronzer or something. I really like it. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Nouveau, which is the tiniest little bit, on a Delium Tools 960. And I'm gonna apply that ever so slightly on the apples of my cheeks. And then for a highlight, I'm gonna get some of Fresh on a Sedona Lace 313 brush and apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. Now for lips, I'm gonna use this combo right here. I'm gonna take my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny, Shocker, 
my e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Marsala blush and then I'm going to top that with the Camp Cosmetics. These are called the Lip Lavas in Million Dollar Mama. So that wraps up this get ready with me. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below some of your favorite things from Camp Cosmetics because I am pretty new to the brand so I would love to know some of your favorite things from their line. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!